it's Angel, Angel Valenzuela, not Angel. Angel. There you go. It's a common mistake. Don't worry about it. Oh, I won't. I won't. Um, so can you give me another example of how you handle crises and other unpleasant situations? Yes, we can. I graduated a few months ago. Very stressful time. I was dating this young woman who... Uh... Okay, I'd really prefer a professional crisis. I considered myself a professional student. So with graduation from college, the next step you take as an adult is to get married. I bought an exquisite ring for that lucky young woman. But the night before my final exams, she expressed some hesitation. So sorry to hear that. Happens to the best of us. I truly liked her a little more than I should have, but my roommate thought I should reschedule my finals. No, I aced them. The breakup didn't affect me one bit. Sometimes things take a little while to set in. I'm never slow, no. And do you feel this example of crisis is a good qualifier for this position? No, my credentials are the qualifier, but this is a human connection, so you see me for more than my accomplishments. So I mentioned my excellent relationship. I mean, we all have those, I'm sure you do. Okay, I'm not going to discuss that. Right. This is about me. You're very focused. See, I know I'm overqualified to be here, and that makes people nervous. I don't want to tell you how to run this place, but... <laughs> well, how would you? Just for kicks. What you'll need is a critical eye, required IQ tests, and a willingness to destroy the financial security of others as okay, you restructure. Okay, that's enough. That's good. Thank you. Just offering my thoughts and assistance. What else do you want to know? Well, I think I've learned everything I need to. <laughs> You're a quick study. You're smart. You're kind. The job market is tough right now. But I know that if you can get somebody to like you, then you can get in. It certainly helps. It just takes someone liking you. Someone with good taste. When you ask me why I should attend your program, I, I think about why a whale needs to swim in an ocean. <clears throat> Thank you for waiting, Everett. I see your father has sent you out on collection. Your rent is late again? Is it? Don't you know? Your tone seemed to imply that was a question. It's late. My father gives you a grace period until the third each month. Tell him, thank you. It's the fourth. I don't want to tell you how to run this apartment complex. Really? Sounds like you mean to. But it's important to realize that there are some serious problems with the Gregorian calendar, and until those problems are resolved, it would be who of you to show us intolerance. The Gregorian calendar? See, how can you enforce something when you truly don't know what it is? I don't want to be the bad guy here. Nobody wants to, but it can still happen. Your rent is late every month for the past six months. My dad's going to evict you. And you would let him do that? Why would I stop him? Besides, I think you have something that might give you some time. Three hundred thirty-three dollars and sixty-four cents. Will this literally buy us some time? Mm-hmm. Good. Hold out your shirt, I'll dump it in. You should really use a bank. And help the Federal Reserve in their domination of America? No. Hold out your shirt. All of it. I'm gonna come by every day until I get the rest. Great. And since I want to limit your time here, you can tell your dad he'll have it. Fine. See you tomorrow. Once again, your 
tone seemed to imply that was a question. Clarity, sir. I will see you tomorrow. Okay? It's no joke, Dorian. Yes, on hell. We're in a bind. We need fifteen hundred dollars. Did you hear from any schools today? Maybe your student loans can cover rent. Oh, I heard, but I didn't listen. The right one will whisper soon. And if it doesn't, maybe you can get a job. No, I need graduate school to properly understand my undergraduate experience. Dorian, I know we're young to enter the workforce, but I took the plunge. And if we need money so badly, maybe you should pawn off the engagement ring. Eden might have thought it worthless, but I saw the price tag. It can save us. Maybe you can call uh, your parents or one of your four successful brothers and ask for money. I hope that's not to turn off the water. Eden. Hi, uh, can I come in? Of course. Dorian, I, I wanted to thank you for your instructions on that whole paint removal nightmare after my drop cloth really dropped the ball. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> I've been told I'm skilled at telling people what to do. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if you... Painting, that's a big undertaking. That's why it's good to be careful. I was careful. You know, mistakes happen. I found a stain, a big, ugly, embarrassing stain. So I just broke it down and removed it from memory. Okay, uh, so what instructions did he give you? He said to use dish detergent on the carpet. Dish detergent. It works. It did very well. Well, you should ask me. I know something better. <sighs> it's taken care of now. I don't need another method. Well, maybe it will happen again. Why would it happen again? I don't know, but when it does, a point can be made. Before you sacrifice my carpet to prove your point, why don't you just put up a how-to online? Why? I don't know. Maybe so you can satisfy your need of telling people they're doing something wrong on a larger scale. <laughs> on the internet. Yeah. Where every yokel can Sorry. post a misspelled grievance. No thank you, I'll stick to print. It was nice to see you, Eden. Well, it's good you two can be friends. I worried the end of our engagement might affect that. She's actually been really friendly since. She asks about you. She's been eating, crying, sleeping. I told her you're doing fine. When you tell her I'm fine, does she seem relieved? She sort of seems disappointed. You need to call today. The phone company said they're shutting you off for non-payment tomorrow. Dad, it's so nice to hear your voice. Uh-huh. I'm sorry to disappoint. No, I don't need you to co-sign. Yes, I do need that. But maybe... Oh, they haven't asked for years. Four out of five isn't bad. Agreed. My apologies. Bye. At the moment, he's unmoved, but he tends to cycle through emotions like a snake cycles through shedding its skin. You don't know how to ask for money. I do. I'm an expert. You forget. My father's child support ran far longer than he was prepared for. So smug. A bit scoliosis from patting yourself on the back so often. Whatever. You can't call in a happy mood. You need to picture yourself in some sort of terrible situation and let that creep into your voice. Just picture a guy. No money. No prospects. No girlfriend. 
No car, and he's drowning in student loans from a worthless major. Be that guy. Can you be that guy when you call? Maybe. I mean, I'm an art history major, not an actor. I've explained it. It's all there. Come on, we need 1,500 more. Maybe we should post how to, like Eden suggested. Eden? I don't think she's been thinking too clearly lately. People are always looking for guidance online. Remember those reports about how some people prefer WebMD to actually seeing doctors? But it's the web. The common man's forum. Exactly. The common man who often needs a guiding hand. Maybe this time a virtual one. Someone told me that if you get 2 million online views, you can get $1,000. Well, the world has over 6 billion people. That needs something worthwhile to occupy their time. And they're always complaining there's an absence of good material on the web. We fill the void. We fill our wallets. Let's get the camera. Thank you.